Hello and welcome back to the farm. We are now in December and today it's snowing. It's actually snowing. Let's take a look at the forecast. It's actually got to snow. Well, most of the day until the evening. <laughs> that's good. That's, that's kind of cool. Maybe the snow will settle. We will have to see. Our fields, um, well, have weeds in them. They have weeds, but that's fine. We will have to, well, actually, no, it's not fine. Now that I think about it, because we will need to seed them, but that won't remove the weeds, I don't think. So that is a job that we apparently have to take care of. We need to get a weeder and get rid of these weeds. This is going to be our most effective and organic way of removing weeds. Um, let's see here what we have as possibilities. So this is a 6 meter working width. This is a 9 meter working width for... $8,500 more. I think this is going to be the ideal thing for us to get. It's a pretty good working with, so I think we will just have to go with it. And I guess I should show you as well the uh, use machinery. We have nothing of interest in here, unfortunately. So a weeder we will have to buy. And we shall. Boom. We bought a weeder. Now that is just one of the tasks that we need to do here in December. Um, but let's head into the tractor here and head on over to the shop. Before we go though, I do want to check the prices for potatoes yet again. Um, and if we take a look at price fluctuations, we are in December. I would like to wait until January, which we might skip to January. Uh, in January, to January, blah, I can't speak. You know what I mean. We might skip to that month, <laughs> this episode, uh, if we don't have anything else to do. But really quickly, while I remember, if we go into contracts here, if we have any jobs of interest, we could potentially set the worker to do. Field 25. Field 25. Field 25 is quite large, but that would be maybe, yeah, it would be a couple of thousand dollars if we took this job and set a worker to do it. Uh, leasing the equipment, though, would mean a reduction of 1,300. Uh, this, on the other hand, is more promising, maybe. Field 31. Field 31. Yeah, that should be a fairly quick job to get. So I'm going to take I'm gonna take this cultivation work. I'm going to borrow the items. So that's currently active. So I'll take this tractor over to the shop. And then we will set a worker to work in that field. And then we will do the weeding. I think we also need to spread some lime today. Also, I got my indicators working. Hey, um, we might need to spread some lime as well, though it's not required this month. So we don't need to. We, we're not in a hurry, basically. But uh, we shall see. We will have to see. What button is my? That's the wrong button. <laughs> I forgot my button to do the to turn on the lights. So dear. Oh well. We don't need the lights to work in the snow. We're professionals, right? All right, so there's our weeder. We will be using that very, very shortly. So I will attach it to the tractor. Wait, is that? Are we leasing the same tractor? <laughs> Hold on, is this the same? No, it appears that this, this tractor, yep. <laughs> this tractor is its bigger brother. Let's look at that. Hold on, I need, I need a, I need to see this. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, I will turn off my engine and then, oh, oh boy, get in here. Oh wow, That's an interesting steering wheel. I've never seen that before. Hmm. Quite interesting. Also, this cultivator is quite big. I could do this job myself, honestly, and get optimal profit, but I think we will be all right. So I will turn on the working lights and off we go to field 31. Again, I'll set a worker to it while I do the, the weeding and then I will probably take over because this will be quite a few thousand dollars, which is going to be... Well, quite good. And this is a rather big cultivator as well, so doing the field 31. Oh, field 31 is right here. I didn't realize it was this close. <laughs> I did not realize it was this close. 
All right. Uh, I don't. I think this is where I need to turn. Um, quite a tight turn. I want to hit the fence, but I think I got it. All right. All right. Let's unfold this for the worker. Hmm. The working width of this is actually not as big as I thought. Anyways, that's fine. You turn off the lights. All right, and I'll set a worker to it. Cool. I'll take over once we are done with removing the weeds from our field. I think if we go in here as well and head over here. Yeah, we have the first stage of weeds, which are the type that we can remove using this uh, machine right here. Oh, wait, I need to need to raise it up. <laughs> Whoops. All right, then. Here we are. We can unfold the weeder now. And I can turn off the turn signal. <laughs> there we go. Right. This shouldn't be a job that takes too long. At all. As you can see, it is removing all the weeds. Which is exactly what we want to happen. Now, in the last episode, I was talking about the stones. And I think I have come to a little bit of a, I guess, conclusion. But I'll share that later. Alright, this is actually very effective. I can remove the map now. Yeah, this is good. This is very good. We will need to do this every time we see small weeds like this. We need to catch it immediately while they are still this small. Because if they start getting much bigger, we won't be able to do much about it. Um, at least not with this weeder. This thing only takes the small ones. So, yeah. All right, I'll get this going and I will do these two fields and then I think we'll take a look at how far the work has come and then I'll see you at the end of it. Let's do this. All right, that is these three fields done. And according to my calculations, so far we have paid $360 for the worker to do that other field. So I'm intrigued to see how far it has actually gone. Let's see on the map here. Yep, saving content. Come on, there we go. Right, so about one third of the way, I'd say. One third, about one fourth ish. So I think that is pretty good.
All right, so I'm missing field 47, but I just want to quickly cover these uh, these stones real quick because, as you can see, mainly on the map here, it is becoming a little bit of an issue. And if we take a look at the shop here and go into stone pickers, this is the best thing that we have available. It is less working with of the weeder that we're using right now, so not that great. It requires 120 horsepower and the price for it is pretty big. Not to mention this right here. The leasing price is, yeah, quite quite big. And these, they're just, yeah, they're going to be a pain to use uh, in our fields. Two working meter width and yeah. So... I think I have decided that I will be removing stones from a field once. So if I buy a field and there's stones in them, I will be removing them. Um, but then I will be disabling uh, stones for the future so they don't show up again. Because I feel like they are a little bit too frequent. And yeah, that's that's going to be my decision on that. Uh, hopefully you agree. Let me know your opinion down below in the comments. But I think that is the best thing to do. Um, both for the series, but also I feel like the, at the rate the stones are coming, it's a, at this point in time, it is a little bit unrealistic. I feel like, but I could be wrong. But at least I haven't seen stone appear like that. <laughs> oh dear. Right. I should remember to fold this up. Anyways, we're just missing this field now. And it is in fact this field and that uh, other field that I did, um, that I just did, field 44. A small one that needs uh, lime so we might look at doing that today as well we shall see but yeah doing this field as well shouldn't be too big of an issue it should be pretty good so yeah I will need to remove the stones at least once which I think is fair so we'll probably lease probably the big stone picker for 2600 it's gonna be a bit of a pain but it's gonna be worth it now the reason why we want to remove the stones is um it doesn't affect the yield as such i don't know if it affects it a little bit uh it might but i don't think so the main reason why we want to remove them is because it's going to damage our equipment uh more and we don't want that because that could get costly in repairs <laughs> so we don't want to do that we want to get rid of them uh, also it's better for the plants I would I would think anyway so yeah we do need to remove them um, ideally ideally we would want to do it actually I think before we spread the lime I think that would make sense so we might need to do that today, actually, now that I think about it. Because I would think if you spread lime first and then remove the stones using a machine right th like that, you will probably be removing some of the lime that you're spreading. So I guess stone picking it is. <laughs> okay, right. Let's get these weeds removed and we will take it from there. I'll see you in a moment. All right, and that is this field done. And I would assume that the work is now about halfway done with field 31 back there. We will take a look after we're done here. Then we will put the weeder away and then I will be leasing the stone picker because yeah, we will be removing the stones today as well. We might as well. In fact, that is the work I believe. We do some real quick maths. We have used $720 so far, I think. I could be wrong. Uh, 
360, and another 180, and another 180, so that's 360 plus 360. Yeah, I think we have, I think, I think we've used 720, I think. But I could be wrong. It could be less, it could be less than that. <laughs> it could be less. And there we go. Fold it up. Put this away somewhere. We don't have that much room for equipment. But we will find a place. Hopefully. Um, I know. Right away here. Turn around. Yeah, right in here. That should be good. Assume I don't hit the, the work table over there, or the saw, I should say. There we go. Perfect. Very, very good. All right, let's take a look at the worker here. Uh, yeah, as I predicted, about half way. So, while it continues that, I think what I'm going to do, because stone picking is a very slow task, I will, first of all, lease this for 2,652. Then I will go ahead and I will go down to here. Um, field stone. Determines if stones can appear on your fields when cultivating and plowing. I will disable that now. And then we're gonna pick up the stone picker and we're gonna pick all the stones in all of our fields. But yeah, I'll start with field 44. Then I think I'll set a worker to do field 47. Um, the field we had the corn in. And then I will take over for the worker with the cultivating because I want to do a little bit of that as well. Just to get some variety in, right? There it is. One thing that I really want to buy as well, and that I will need very soon, in fact, is a front loader for this tractor. So we can move that bag of seeds and in the future move other bags as well. And pallets, especially the lettuce when we start getting more of it. This is definitely a beast of a machine. Now we will be able to sell the stones not for very much, but we can get some of the money back. So that is that is one positive, I suppose. I actually forgot to see if our tractor could even pull this thing. <laughs> oh boy. Right, turn on the the beacons of work. And we're going back to the farm. Now I said I would do field 44 first. These two fields right here to my left and right right now, they do need to be done as well. But 44 and 47 are most important because I will want to spread lime in them uh, in January, I would assume. So, not that it has an effect, but we, we need to do it all today because, um, yeah, we're leasing this thing. Anyways, uh, right, I need to turn it on. And it's also very hard to tell where you have been and where you haven't. But here we go. We are picking stones. It's actually not going at a horrible speed. The work width is just a little bit questionable. The good news is our tractor can indeed run this thing. So that is good. We are doing it though. We are removing the stones from our field. Which is great. And the sun is going down pretty quickly. So I did put times to times five. Just so we will have a little bit of daylight while doing this. Was that the field then? I think that might have been the field. So because I've dis uh, so because I've dis uh, disabled the stones, they no longer show up here in the map, but they do still appear texture-wise. So I just gotta go by that, really. And I think. 
But that is all the stones removed in this field. There we go. So, I'm gonna put this other worker in this field over here. And then I will take over for the cultivation work. I will probably have to fold this up. <laughs> I don't want to drag the metal bridge with me. Unfold this again. Uh, should be safe to do this. Just turn on the working lights. And then set this on a worker. And it's off. Beautiful. Let's see how far this has gone. I will disable the worker here. Yeah, this has done a pretty good job. Now let's see if I can keep up the momentum here. Alright. Time to do some cultivation work. With a rather big cultivator. This is going to be a little bit tricky, though. But definitely not impossible. Alright. Let's continue this while the worker is doing the stones. And I'll see you at the end of it. Alright, our worker in the field has, with the stone picking, has actually completed the task, so I'm actually going to set this on a worker and I'm gonna swap over. Let's take a look at the work. Yep, looks very, very nice indeed. So I'll set this to work in one of the other fields. I'll put this up. The other field, uh, the cultivation work is, well, d technically done. <laughs> <laughs> now the game does give us a little bit of headroom, I guess you can call it. Where you don't have to do the entire field. It gives you a little bit of headroom for mistakes and errors and whatnot. But I'll leave the worker to it. Um, and we'll see how far it gets until I set a worker to work in this field. I do want to continue it because otherwise that's just a little bit unrealistic. And I do realize that the sun is going down, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. All right, I'll set the worker, to, I'll leave the worker to actually uh, set this up and boom. Put some lights on, lower it. There we go. So yeah, I'll finish this. Alright, final strip here. And then, we're done. 
And then I think what I'm going to do as soon as this is done, I'll take over the worker, I'll finish that field. And then I'll probably do the other field off camera in between episodes. And then we'll start the next episode in the night here in December. Because if we go another day, yeah, it's going to be even more fees for the, for the stone picker. Which is not, that's not going to be ideal. And boom. This contract is now finished. It's been nice using this tractor. The big brother of the one that we have. <laughs> All right, collect the money. There we go. Very, very good. And this is pretty much halfway done. I will continue the work from here on out. Oh, it's full. Oh, it's full. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Um, right. Where on earth do we sell rocks? <laughs> um, stones. Well, okay. Um, debris crusher. I guess that's only one place, really. Don't know where. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too far away. So I've attacked the place. It shouldn't be too, too bad to get over there. It's right next doors, pretty much. Now we're not gonna get a whole lot. I think we might get like a hundred dollars, which isn't a lot. But hey, that's some of the of the working fees. Um, yeah, gotten gotten back. All right. Turning right here. And it should be right down this road. Right there, in fact. Yep, so I think... I position this right. Unload. Again, we're not gonna get a large amount of money from this. Yep, yeah, like I said, ninety dollars. <laughs> not a whole lot, but hey, it's still something. Every little bit counts. So yeah, I'll take this back. I'll quickly finish that field, and we'll call it a day. It's super hard to see anything. But I'll finish this field, and I'll see you at the end of it. I think that is all the stones in this field. It is extremely hard to tell. Mainly because it's so dark. Oh dear. Anyways guys, I think that is gonna do it for this episode. I'm gonna do that other field off camera and then we're gonna start right back here in the next episode and we will rest and move on to January where we hopefully will be selling the potatoes and be spreading some lime. So anyways, hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing. But anyways, that's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. And goodbye.